Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about how to add brushes to your Affinity Suite. It's really simple, so let's jump into it. Okay, so here we are in Affinity Photo 2. We're gonna go up to File, New, and if you go to your account page, you're gonna see you have all of your add-ons. Now this is if you have bought something from the Affinity Store. So if you've bought any of the things in their shop, or if you've gotten any of the free things that you get sometimes for just owning the software, this is where they're gonna be. So today we're gonna go ahead and install the Blast Powder Brushes by Ian Barnard. All you gotta do, click download. You'll see a little download button. Same thing, Chalk Dust, Ian Barnard, boom. Download, it just downloads it all by itself. We have the down here at the bottom, the Splat Illustration Kit by Frankentune. Download that one. And again, it just downloads everything and it is so easy. And then if you wanna go through and find it, you can actually go back to your new, create whatever document you want. And under brushes, if you don't see brushes, it is probably under window, brushes, and you can move it over. And you'll see here, now we have Chalk Dust, we have Frankentune Splat, we have our Freestyler, our blast brushes, our glow lettering brushes, all that amazing stuff. But what if you don't install it from the Affinity Store and you actually installed it from a third party? Well, here we have the Frankentoon Crayon Box. And if we just go through and drag this over behind our window, it'll say brushes imported successfully, imported 20 raster brushes into the Frankentoon Crayon Box. So then we can go up here, Frankentoon Crayon Box, and there's all of our crayon brushes. Same thing for the palettes. If we go to our palette, drag that over. Um, it doesn't give you a dialog box for this one, but if you go to swatches, you'll now see I already had it in here. Now it made crayon box two, so it auto uh, installs for you and it is amazing. If you don't want to just drag it in like that, you can also go up here to your three dots. While you're in swatches, you can go to import palette and that is where you would find it. And you can either use it just for this document or for the whole Affinity Photo application. And same thing with brushes, click on brushes, go to your little hamburger menu and import brushes. And then you can go and find your file. So it's really easy and hopefully this will allow you to make some really awesome artwork using some fancy brushes. Um, sometimes Affinity offers them for free, sometimes there's deals all on them on you know the internet. Who knows, you can even make your own. But I hope you found it helpful. If you enjoyed it, hit like. If you wanna see more, hit subscribe. And until next time, take care.